Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the dodge tool. Dodge tool can be seen in the toolbox. You can access by clicking this option and we have the dodge tool and we have other tools here in that dodge tool section. One is the burn tool and the sponge tool. So we will explore the dodge tool here. The shortcut for the dodge tool is O. So once you got that, you got a circle as a cursor and this circle is a brush basically the way you use the brush you can use this dodge tool also instead of getting color it shows certain effect on your image and what's that effect uh, in in the context of photoshop dodge tool is all about lightening up so here i'm going to choose the mid tones and then keeping everything other settings default I will use this brush over the image and just rub it and then you should be able to see the image starts becoming more bright there okay so it is affecting the mid tone values of this picture because I've set the range to mid tone okay now once I got this image I can also try exploring this with different brushes for example I'm taking the leaf and I'm going to use the scatter uh, options and the size options all that stuff and then when i hover it you should be able to see i'm getting certain part of the image getting dodged or becoming more bright okay so you want to add an extra texture to your uh, photograph you can generally use dodge tool can be used for image editing purposes to enhance the existing photograph what you have okay so dodge tool have all that brushes you can choose any of the brushes uh, based on the requirement i'm using a default brush with a less hard or i'm making it soft brush and you can go to the brush settings and modify all the brush settings as per your requirement okay so we have the range which is basically shadows mid tones and highlights so if i choose the shadows and you could able to see this picture is I mean this part of the picture here is dark okay so when I'm using the dodge tool and when I'm saying the shadows so it will generally lighten up that shadow regions so it is affecting the dark part of your picture while when you have taken the mid tones it will affect the mid range of the colors the you have protect tones if I don't use you could able to see this complete washout of this picture so it is recommended to use the protect tones feature there okay and we have uh, highlights which affects the brightest part of the photograph okay so uh, you want to make the photograph looking more bright you can generally use it but again as i told you uh, what part of the picture you want to affect you need to choose it wisely 